Welcome everybody back to Rock, Paper, Pencil, your daily dose of tabletop and traditional gaming goodness. And today we're going to be starting yet another new series on player types. Now not necessarily problem players, um, there's a thousand different kinds of those and different ways to deal with them. We're going in with player types like um, what types of players you can expect to have at the gaming table. And for the first one we're doing the perpetually late. He's always late. He never shows up on time. He'll tell you he's gonna be there and then he shows up an hour late. Everyone else has been waiting on him. You can't really pick up and play because he was involved with where you left off. You know that you should know better by now but it always sticks in your craw when he's late. Or she. Now, the perpetually late gamer, in my personal experience, it's not that they're lazy, it's that they always think that they have more time than they do. Or they leave the house and fully intend on being there in time, but then they realize they have to make 16 different stops before getting over. To where you're playing. Now, there's a lot of ways to handle the perpetually late gamer. The easiest, while also the most difficult, is to not let them play. And that's going to come in with a lot of cases for some of these player types when you're handling them at the table. Another solid way to do it is to talk to them about it. That's always that's always the first option you should go about. You should always, as a GM, pull them off to the side and say, Look, you're always freaking late. Leave 20 minutes early than, than you were going to. Or if you've got to work and you have to work late and it's going to take you extra time, shoot me a text, call me, do something. You know your work schedule before today. Let me know. That's a solid way of handling it. And eventually that can help, but there are some that just, it never works. Another good way to handle it is to, which it does sometimes piss them off, is to always put them on the back burner. So that way when your other players, sometimes sometimes I have, I have run games where I have seven or eight people at the table at a time, and while that is very difficult to do as a GM, it makes it even more difficult when everyone's together and everyone is required for it really needs to be there to move forward and you don't want to just bot that character behind them and there and you've got one guy that's gonna be an hour and a half late so you've got seven disgruntled people at the table only to know why you can't freaking play yet what you do is you always make them less important so that, that way wherever you end up leaving off they're not important to move forward. That's a, that's a harsh way to handle it, but sometimes that's what you have to do. Now the perpetually late gamer is one of the easier player types to handle. Um, you will run into it. I can guarantee you at any given point as a GM, you will run into that player that is perpetually late. Sometimes multiple players that are perpetually late. Um, I actually, I actually never plan to play until an hour after I've told everyone to show up. I never plan to. I already, I already have everything ready, but I am always expecting to not get, get to start the session until an hour after everyone's supposed to be there because I do have people that are perpetually late and just will not get it through their head that they don't need to be. Luckily, most of my players are okay with it, but I have played in games and I have run games where they're not. Um, I was playing in a game at one point where we had... Uh, had a guy through no fault of his own was always late because he he would never plan to work the day of game but he always got off in time to play but he would just be 20 to 30 minutes late but he would never remember to text anybody to let everyone know that he's going to be late so we all show up ready to play at 4.30 in the afternoon and he's not there 
No one can get a hold of him because, of course, he's at work. He can't really mess with his phone. No one can get a hold of him. No one can get anything with him. And we've got people at the table that are literally like, we're just going to kill his character so that we can move forward, so that we can play. I'm just going to backstab him, slit his throat in his sleep, and we can move forward. He can make a new one when he gets here. That's a harsh way to handle it. That's a very harsh way to handle it. I don't like that. It really bothers me when people do that. Um, but it does bother me because I do have a very big thing about being punctual. It does bother me when people show up late to the table and don't let anyone know. In my experiences, if you are a perpetually late gamer, as long as you let someone know you're going to be late, things work out a lot better in your favor. Um... Don't just decide to not text anybody or call somebody. In this age of digital communication, there is no reason that you can't get a hold of somebody to let them know that you're going to be late. Just do it. It does. It's not that damn hard. And that covers, for the most part, the perpetually late gamer. If you've got any questions, comments, cuss words, as always, leave them below. Have you ever had an experience with a perpetually late gamer? Are you a perpetually late gamer? Um, leave those in the comments below. Leave those experiences, leave those problems you've got in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, keep rolling.